Wales has resigned from the Cabinet, the latest minister to jump ship from Gordon Brown's tottering government. The diminutive community secretary plunged the government into fresh crisis when she became the fourth minister in 24 hours to announce their quitting. She attended her last Cabinet meeting yesterday, but her position has been under threat ever since Mr Brown said the use of her second home allowances was totally unacceptable. Earlier, Mr Brown woke to the worst set of headlines he's ever faced. They summed up his plight in stark terms. Labour in disarray, loss of authority and a collapse of morale. But the bitterest blow for the PM was the normally Labour-supporting Guardian newspaper saying bluntly that it's time for him to go. A damning editorial, reprinted on its front page, said the truth is there's no vision for Mr Brown, no plan, no argument for the future and no support. It called on the Cabinet to tell Mr Brown he must step aside in the interests of his party in the country. Labour's a year left before an election. Its current leader would waste it. It's time to cut him loose. The tabloid newspapers are even more brutal in their assessment that Mr Brown's government is falling apart as the MP's expensive scandal takes its toll on his party. Mr Brown's been out on the campaign trail but he knows the voters may be preparing to deliver the final blow in the European elections. If Labour performs as badly as the opinion polls suggest, then Mr Brown could be forced out.